What's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today on our Town Hall 10 account. I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, attacks with the Lavoonian attack strategy. That's Lava Hounds, Balloons, and Minions. Um, ever since the update where the Lava Hounds came out, uh, they've kind of fallen off and people haven't been using them as much. So in this episode, um, I've got 200% to show you and uh, a 53% right there. And we're going to go ahead and go over it. I'm going to talk to you guys about it. Um, it. The strategy works well in higher levels and lower levels. This base is hilarious. It's such a funny base. But the way that the strategy works, obviously, is you drop off... Um, the Lava Hounds first, you rage them up, they get in there, and then all of the things that can attack air, so Expos, Air Defenses, Teslas, Wizards, um, Archer Towers, all of those get distracted by the Lava Hounds. You can see one of them is still alive and he's down here on this Air Defense. We're going to rage that up and get those uh, balloons working around the base, and then you drop the minions down behind the balloons as well. So. It's kind of like Go Wipe in the sense that Golems um, are the Lava Hounds in this, where they go in, they take all the damage, and they distract the troops. Then you drop your Witches or your Wizards behind them, uh, which are like the Minions in this case, because they do um, a lot of little damage and whatnot. And then you have your P.E.K.K.A.s that run in and do the majority of the damage, which is what the Balloons do in this. So you can see we just absolutely annihilated that base. It wasn't even a challenge whatsoever. Um, so you can find bases like that and just completely destroy them with Lavoonian. Let's move on to uh, the second attack. We only got 53% on this one because this base is a little bit harder and everything is up. Um, and working, but we'll drop our rage spells right there. You drop them a little outside the walls so that your lava hounds can pick up speed as they come in. And then you drop off your balloons right behind them, and then you bring in your minions as well. Now, if I was going for trophies, which I wasn't, then I would have attacked from the bottom, and I 100% would have gotten the town hall. So that's one thing that you guys can keep in mind with this attack. So right now we're heading into the middle. We've got um, a good amount of the loot so far, but I am still trying to get the rest of my troops in there. Now keep in mind, I only had two rage spells when I started this attack because I was not paying attention. But we have already taken out the Inferno Towers in the middle. If we'd had another rage spell in the middle, we would have easily... Honestly, if we'd had two more rage spells, which we could have, then we would have just completely taken uh, everything out with this attack. So there's the 50% right there so that we get the league bonus. The king is still working his way around. There's two gold storages left over, um, and there's that 900 Dark Elixir in the middle of the base. But we still got 105,000 and 11 trophies from it. Um, and if we had attacked from the bottom, like I said, then we would have completely destroyed it. So we had one lightning spell, two rages. Normally I roll with four rage spells and one lightning spell uh, just to take out the clan castle troops. So um, let's go ahead and play that one again since this is probably the kind of base that you guys will find yourselves attacking. So you drop off your rage spells just like that and as you can see the lava hounds you want to drop them both at the same time just to help with the distraction and once they get in here now you can see that Tesla, um, Archer Queen, uh, Archer Towers up here and uh, Wizard Towers are all focused on the Lava Hounds as well as the Expos. So again, that's them being tanky. So you drop off your Rage Spells, you drop off your uh, Lava Hounds and you bring them in and then you drop off your Balloons in a wall directly behind them. All right, So they're in here taking a lot of damage as you can see. Um, but right now, everything in there is distracted on the Lava Hounds. You can see all the air defenses, all of the Expos, the Teslas are both shooting at them, as is that Inferno Tower. And our Balloons, which are going to do the majority of our damage to the defenses, are free to roam. So you can see they are just taking out all of the defenses right now without a problem. So we're going to keep bringing them in. I just used that Lightning Spell right there to take out those... Uh, clan castle troops and we're just going to continue working our way in here once again now at this point if I had those two other rage spells which I didn't then we would drop them we would drop one right here uh, around this expo and then one right over here around this inferno tower and this wizard tower and then our balloons would head in as they continue working their way down and around so um, as you can see, we're doing pretty good with our troops. We've got some of our little lava pups up. That one looks like it's about to go down. Yep, <laughs> that lava pup just completely got owned. We've only got a couple of balloons left and a couple of minions. And again, guys, um, 
this attack would have been flawless if it hadn't been for uh, me forgetting those two spells. So the only thing about it is that it does take a while to train up because you've got to wait for all four of your spells if you really do want to three-star a base. But I'm an impatient person, so sometimes I'll just jump in with three spells, four spells, two spells, whatever it may be. Um, so we're just going to keep on working our way around. Now we've got these... Uh, Air defense is down here doing some serious work on all of our troops since they are all air troops. Um, and our minions are in here. They only take out a little bit of that dark elixir before they are all taken down. And then we've only got a couple more minions up here. We've got our barbarian king doing something. What was he? He was just attacking that wall for absolutely no reason. Giant bomb right there on the king. We're going to get him in here. And now he is getting picked up by all the defenses. There is a skeleton trap that is going to distract him. Um, I don't even think that I used his ability because I think I wasn't paying attention. But um, again, guys, when it comes to that strategy, just make sure that you, if you want to, if you're trophy pushing and you really want to get up there, obviously attack from the side where the town hall is, but also have all your spells ready to go. So we've got one more to go over. Um, this one right up here at the top. This was another recent one. This guy did not have his expos up at all. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and drop off our Lava Hounds. Once again, you can see they're heading in towards the air defenses and they are all focused on by uh, the Archer Towers, the Wizard Towers. You can see the air defenses. Same with over here. Now this guy, his expos are all empty. So that's why this attack is super easy and that's why it ends up being a three star. Now I dropped that rage spell right there because I know that my balloons are coming in. The Lava Hound just went out of range of that wizard, so that wizard is now attacking uh, the balloons, which isn't too good because of that splash damage is going to do work to them, but they are raged, so they are going to get over there with absolutely no problem. Now we've got two more lightning spells left and a, or two more rage spells and one more lightning. We're going to drop a rage right in the middle of the base. Just to finish it up, we'll save those other spells for another raid, and we're going to let our uh, our balloons work their way around and watch. As they go down, they cause damage to the town hall and whatnot, which is hilarious. I love destroying town halls with the splash damage of balloons. It's super, super funny. Um, but we just continue on doing work around the base. Uh, it's a very effective strategy, guys that uh, if you haven't used or if you don't have Lava Hounds, you should try it out. It's fun. Uh, the Lava Hounds are a little expensive when it comes to Dark Elixir. We can come in here and see that they are 510. So they are cheaper than the Golems. Uh, you could train up 510, 15. You could train up three of them for uh, the price of two of the Golems almost. Um, so again, that's up to you if you want to try and use that strategy. But I just wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, because I'd done a couple attacks on it and I wanted to share those with you. So it works pretty well. Again, that second attack is probably the one that you uh, would want to duplicate the most as long as you had two other spells because that's a higher level base than the first and the third attack. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.